Hey, I'm Robin and this is Bitbirdie. Today I'm just going to show you a quick example of how you'd use a mutex in Godot Engine. I was trying to improve an old game jam game of mine by using multi-threading and I noticed that in the Godot docs, the example they give about mutexes is not very helpful. So I thought I'd show you a simple example of how you'd use a mutex and what problem they solve in multi-threading. Also, I'm going to assume you have some basic knowledge of threads and if you don't, you can check out this video by a channel called Godot Tutorials and you can also take a look at the official docs. So we have this little project here and the only thing that's happening is it's creating 10 threads and then it's getting each thread to run update counter and what update counter does is it's incrementing this variable called counter and then printing its value and when it's three it'll do an extra little print statement here so if this is a single threaded application and we were just calling update counter 10 times you would expect the output to be one two three counter reach three four five six seven eight nine ten but let's see what happens when we run this Okay, so you see the numbers are out of order and it also didn't even print this counter reach three. Well, let's see if we just run this again. Some different results also didn't print three, also didn't print it, also didn't print it. Okay, it finally uh, printed counter reach three here, but you see that each uh, result is different. So what's going on here? So we're getting all the threads to execute update counter and they're not waiting for each other to finish executing before the next one starts. This means that they're all running this code in parallel, kind of at their own pace. This means that thread one could come in here and execute this line, but then thread two could come in here and execute the first two lines before thread one is even finished this one. So how do we explain this specific output where counter reach three was never printed, even though the counter must have been three at some point? So what could have happened is threads one and two came in here and maybe executed in order. And then thread three comes in here it updates the counter, it prints three, but before it gets to this line, thread four comes in here and updates the counter. So now by the time thread three comes in here and checks to see what the counter value is, it's no longer three, it's now four. So it will never print this. So this situation is called a race condition. This is when a piece of shared state or resource is getting read and written by a bunch of different threads. So the results can be unpredictable. And how do we prevent this? Well, we can use a mutex. So I've just created a mutex and here I'm locking it at the beginning of update counter and I'm unlocking it at the end. What this does is when a thread comes in here and it gets to this line, it basically locks this piece of code so that no other threads can access this. They're actually just going to be waiting for it to be unlocked. So thread one can come in here. It'll lock the mutex. It'll execute this code without any other threads running over it and then it'll unlock the mutex for other threads that are waiting. And then the next thread will come in here, lock it, and make all the other threads wait again. So let's see what happens now when we run this. Okay, we get the result we'd predict, and if we just keep running it, it'll always be the same, because the threads are no longer running this piece of code in parallel. And that's it. I hope that was helpful to some of you. And if you want to see a more fleshed out multi-threading example, I have a blog post about how I use multi-threading to optimize a thousand moving nodes. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.